Okay, so this is a immunization with exact matching problem. So Joe must pay liabilities of a thousand due six months from now. Right? So six months from now, liability of a thousand. And it says another 1,000 due one year from now as well. So these are liabilities that need to be paid out. Now it says that there are two available investments, a six month bond and a one year bond, right? Calculate the amount of each bond that Joe should purchase to exactly match the liabilities. Okay, well, whenever we're dealing with an immunization with exact matching problem, we always have to first do work on the bond that has the longest duration. Because the approach with immunization with exact matching is that we always have to start with the bond that has the longer duration. So then we could move back into how we're going to fund the uh, liabilities. So I'll show you what I mean. So, but let's start with bond two. So a one year bond with face amount of a thousand a 5% nominal annual coupon rate convertible semi-annually and the 7% nominal annual yield rate convertible semi-annually. Okay, so a uh, face amount of a thousand, okay? 5% sem um, annual coupon rates convertible semi-annually. Okay, so we'll do five divided by two, which is 2.5%. Now we're gonna do a thousand times 0 0.025. So we're getting, we find out that the coupon that is given is 25, right? But since this is an only one year bond, the redemption of a thousand is also being paid out as well. So in total, this would have, this would be worth a thousand twenty-five, right? So now we're dealing with a liability of a thousand in one year, right? So the question is asking how much of each bond that Joe should purchase to exactly match the liabilities, right? So since this bond is worth 1,025 at year one and we need to finance 1,000, we're gonna solve 1,000, we only need 1,000 and to exactly match the liabilities, we only need 1,000 of this one year bond. So we're gonna do 1,000 of how much it's worth which will equal um, which will equal 0.9756, right? Now, this means that we only need 0.9756 of bond two to completely finance the liability at year one. The thing is, is that since we only used 1,000 of this bond two, we have 25 left. Why? Uh, 25 left of bond two. Why? Because 1,025 minus 1,000, 25. 25 isn't used up yet. So we have 25 left of bond two. So let's keep that in mind. Now it goes on for uh, the liability occurring in the half in uh, six months, right? So since we have 25 left of bond two, then we are gonna have to do what's 25 left times uh, 0.9756 because that is what occurs when we only use a thousand of this bond left, right? So we're gonna do 25 times 0.9756 and we're gonna get 24.39. Then we're gonna use this amount that is left to finance the liability that we have here. So that will be a thousand minus 24.39. So we only have 975, uh, 61 left of this uh, liability. So now, we have a six month bond left with a face amount of a thousand, eight percent coupon convertible. So we're gonna do a thousand times eight percent convertible semi. So it would be 
it would be 40 plus the redemption of a thousand. So it would be worth 1,040. So how much of this bond are we gonna use up? We're gonna divide this again. We're gonna do divided by 1040. We're gonna get 0 0.93808, right? So now let's look at our answer choices. We know that it's not one here. We know that it's not this amount, it's not this amount. Okay, yeah, we got the answer for this. Now for bond two, we know that we used up 0.9756. So that one is out as well. And that's why the choice is D.